My name is Hugh Possingham. I'm part-time at the University of Queensland. Uh, my primary job is with the Nature Conservancy. I'm the chief scientist of the Nature Conservancy. We thought that uh, being part of a MOOC would give broader exposure to our research. So the application of decision science tools to conservation is something that's quite unusual. It's an area that we lead the world in. We have a big group of people here doing that. And the MOOC does in some senses sound um, easy to do, but it's not just a matter of, of wheeling out your old lectures and being filmed. So one thing you learn, I think, from the MOOC process is you can say more in a short period of time if you're more prepared and you've decided how to be very clear about your messages. In a lecture format, I often really say the same thing four or five times in slightly different ways. Obviously with a MOOC, you get to say it once. The advantage with a MOOC, of course, is if you say it once and you say it very clearly well, if the student doesn't get it, they just play it again and they play it again until they think they get it. Particularly one of the videos on marine spatial planning, which is five minutes or YouTube videos, we've used that a lot in the course that I'm giving now on decision science for conservation. It was an animation with one of our students, Jennifer McGowan, speaking over the animation. That was good because again, it's very succinct and in the animation we could do things much better than we could do in, a, in PowerPoint. Right away I was really excited about the potential to work with an animator and so I um, jumped on the opportunity to essentially distill uh, the theory of spatial planning into a short five minute module which we could then use to supplement other teaching efforts. I know that teachers all around the world are using this animation in their different master's courses. I also use it in technical trainings, which I teach all over the world. It's been hosted or shown on several different web platforms. It's featured on National Geographic as well. One student's feedback was actually that this animation helped them explain for the first time what they do to their parents and their family. The beautiful thing about having an animation like this is that we can play it for the next five years and use it to supplement all of our teaching. The idea, I suppose, is the course is unique. <clears throat> as, as a person who's published 600 papers in the peer-reviewed literature, as I say, our group is leading the world, it's not so easy just to, say, teach this. So why not make it into a MOOC, which anybody in the world can then take, but also develop some bits to a very, very high and transportable standard so that people can use it in their own courses.